Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1992 American movie Three Ninjas. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Chad Power, a talented and versatile actor, has captivated audiences worldwide with his charming personality and exceptional performances. From heartwarming family films to intense dramas, Chad brings depth and authenticity to every role. His humility, professionalism, and dedication to his craft make him a rising star in the industry. Disney obtained the film's distribution rights but deemed it excessively violent. To address this concern, the filmmakers incorporated cartoon sound effects to reduce the intensity. Additionally, the American version made several edits, presumably to obtain a PG rating. Patrick Labiordos, a talented American actor, rose to fame with his role on Little House on the Prairie and later captivated audiences as Bud Roberts Jr. on JAG. With diverse film appearances and philanthropic work, Labiordo's depth as an actor and commitment to helping others make him a true inspiration. The unreleased international version, with exclusive scenes missing from the American release, remains unavailable on U.S. home video. Nevertheless, it has been aired on the Wham! Movie Network and occasionally streamed on Hulu. Michael Trainer, a versatile actor, gained fame as Rocky in Three Ninjas, showcasing his martial arts prowess. He's graced TV shows like Boy Meets World and Walker, Texas Ranger, displaying depth and authenticity. Trainer's talent extends to writing and producing. His humility and dedication make him a respected figure in the industry. In the international edition, the boys suffered defeat in the basketball challenge. Additionally, a concluding scene was included to neatly resolve all remaining plot threads. Max Elliott Slade, born on July 4, 1980, gained fame for his role as Colt in the 90s film series Three Ninjas. He showcased his talent, humor, and athleticism, captivating audiences. Slade continued acting in movies like Apollo 13 and Parenthood, impressing with his versatility. After stepping away from the limelight, he pursued filmmaking, directing, and producing independent films. Slade's legacy as an actor and filmmaker inspires others, leaving a lasting impact. Premiering alongside the Disney animated feature, Pedal to the Metal, this short film graced the big screen. A delightful addition before the main event. Kate Sargent, a versatile and captivating actor, mesmerizes audiences with her remarkable performances. With an innate talent and dedication to her craft, she effortlessly embodies diverse characters, leaving a lasting impact. Sargent's range, professionalism, and philanthropic efforts make her a true force in the industry. Audiences eagerly anticipate her next remarkable performance. DJ Harder, known as Hammer, not only acted in the film but also served as the second assistant camera operator. Despite having another acting credit, Harder persists in his work behind the camera. A versatile talent indeed. Professor Toru Tanaka, born on March 20, 1930, was a renowned actor known for his physical presence and martial arts skills. With roles in films like The Running Man and Big Trouble in Little China, Tanaka's towering stature and charisma captivated audiences. Beyond the screen, he mentored aspiring actors and wrestlers. Tanaka's legacy lives on, inspiring generations. He passed away on August 22, 2000, but his talent and impact endure. The highly anticipated international edition of the film, featuring no cartoon sound effects, untouched scenes, and a different ending, streamed exclusively on Hulu in the US. A must-watch for movie enthusiasts seeking an immersive cinematic experience. Victor Wong, a versatile actor, made his mark in the film industry. 
From his comedic role in Big Trouble in Little China to his powerful performances in the Joy Luck Club, he captivated audiences. With a career spanning four decades, Wang's talent and authenticity left a lasting legacy. Though he passed away in 2001, his memorable work continues to inspire. Disney picked up the movie with little hope for success, aiming for decent VHS sales. Surprisingly, it became a theatrical hit and a beloved 90s kids' favorite. Kids' karate businesses nationwide sent letters of gratitude as their enrollments soared by 10%. A delightful surprise.